decade and a half, more than 80% of schools have seen budget cuts across the country. And it often puts programs like art and dance on the chopping block. But a 6 News reporter, Luke Snyder, tells us one group in Jackson is working to help fill in the gaps and help kids tap into creativity in a new space. It's been a big wow. <laughs> Just wow. Making the arts accessible to everyone. That's the goal of Carolyn Moser and her team at the Jackson School of the Arts. Good job. All right, well now we need one more. This is why we're here. We're here for the kids. It's a tradition of giving back to the youth in Jackson that spans more than two decades. One that was first started by the organization's founder, Leslie Montgomery. Leslie started the school back in 2001 when, at a time when schools were cutting a lot of art programming and she actually started with piano lessons in her home for the kids that were the most in need. Today her impact will carry on in a brand new building thanks to community donors. It's here where more than 70 percent of their around 900 students are now on scholarships and filling up the more than 20,000 square feet of new space, both during the day and through after school programming. Everything from art and theater to dance, gymnastics, and taekwondo. We got $9,220 worth of scholarships we're giving out in September alone. For other school leaders and mama for Lauren Zessen, it's about using this new home to create a foundation of creativity in young minds. It opens up certain areas of the brain to make that more open to other kinds of learning. Um, you can have fun, you can express yourselves. Um, and I think that that's so important. It's something that every child should be able to try. Moser says whether you've got the next Picasso or a kid who just wants to have fun, this space is welcome to everyone. It's one she hopes leaves a lasting impact on Jackson's youth for generations to come. I really hope that in 100 years we're still here and thriving and being in the heart of downtown has made a big difference. All scholarships are income based. For ways you can get involved, check out our Scene on 6 section on WNS.com. Here for you in Jackson, Luke Snyder, 6 News. Well, stay with us. David's back after the break. He's got another check of that fall.